Here's what it's like to bike in LA, from Redondo Beach through Torrance and Gardena. I started out on this multi-use path I showed in my video about Redondo, which is designed with a car-first mentality. Stop signs make zero sense for cyclists, and with proper traffic calming are rarely needed in general, which you can learn more about from the Not Just Bikes video about stop signs. As for this bike route sign, well, I'm not sure what exactly makes this a bike route since there's no bike infrastructure or traffic calming at all. I guess a bike route is really more an idea than something physical. These flashing stop signs give deep insight into the mind of the city's public works department. This street runs along an elementary school and my old middle school, so obviously there are frequently lots of kids walking around here, besides this also being a residential area. Rather than actually creating traffic calming infrastructure here, like speed bumps, raised crosswalks, modal filters, anything to actually require drivers to slow down, they just put a flashing stop sign instead. The ethos behind this is that traffic flow is more important than pedestrian safety. But throwing stop signs on every corner doesn't achieve good traffic flow either. There's really not much to be said in favor of designing your city like this. Now I'm biking on 190th. I spent the vast majority of the trip on this strode, and, well, you can see what it's like. Most people would probably rather bike on the sidewalk here, but I prefer not to because it's narrow, there are lots of obstacles, and there's this weird thing where people are sometimes walking on the sidewalk. If you live here and you want to cross here, good luck. But don't worry, it's only half a mile to this, the nearest pedestrian hostile intersection. People stopping in the crosswalk is a hallmark of any car-centric city. There was a bike lane here for a bit, but it's unprotected of course, and there was a lot of debris in it here. And then a short while later it ends abruptly, dumping you into traffic again. Is it better than nothing? Mm, maybe. A little further down 190th, you can see stuff like this, where the sidewalk is actually too narrow to even walk on. And I've seen tons of terrible sidewalks, but wow, this is another level. There was actually just a pile of rubble on the sidewalk here. And yeah, it just goes on and on. So, this is biking in LA. It's not a good look for the most part, but let me just add that even considering all the risks of biking, a 2010 study found that biking still improves your health and life expectancy, unlike driving, which has been shown to have precisely the opposite effect. As Melissa and Chris Bruntlett put it, every time someone gets on a bike, we all benefit. Redondo Beach, Torrance, and Gardena need desperately to decenter cars. Doing so will benefit everyone.